beyond their lonesome near towards Shadow Jade. As following along as we traditionally do with the MVP team from our last game, we got to follow immediately OEG versus JL. BVV, right off of the rip, Karumi opens the trove and uh, gets purple armor. That's very good, unfortunately for them. Their Takeda, their damage hyper Gary, does not yet have a weapon. So we're kiting. <laughs> Indeed. We're having a look over at XCG and GG fighting it out. GG, this is their chance though. If they push this and take MVP in this game, then they push us to eight games. They push us to the eighth game of the day because you have to get the MVP. You have to get it to be able to capitalize on this match point. Well, that's format. not a good start for XCG. Kikoshi. No, it is not. XCG getting taken down by GG, but definitely a good start for GG. However, we've got a third party coming in here. Wolves, the pack of wolves has arrived and they are engaging onto GG, having just won their fight, but they're not looking too weak. The wolves may have bitten off more than they can chew. Egg is on one health. He gets stuck in the Tamok wall and GG take him down. XEM trying to support his teammate, but he's unable to do so and wolves the wolf pack coming in as the third party get bitten back by gg a gg go to six eliminations but more have i just spawned this points. into existence 77.1 dunk there it is gg qualify in if we go to game number eight and it's looking kind of likely because Bayonet just lost a fight to drg over secret tunnel i'm pretty sure two players of uh, Bayonet showed up on the wrong side of the kill feed when we were following along that scrap. Uh, it's now oh, following along it. FPX's Dong Ching. There's the reason why the other players on FPX weren't nearby. They were activating the Bane scrap. Unfortunately for them, the activation takes a little bit too long and OUG are able to capitalize on one of those players being voluntarily isolated. What is going to receive the Karumi server if OUG decide to go Bane surfing and try and take this fight? You with a gorgeous jump parry has to actually stop the follow-up punishment because of the Bane scrap. Hitting in and saving water, allowing him to regroup, but that just means that he gets put into the blender alongside his teammate as you comes in with the Takeda ultimate and catches on. Now it's just water. He tries to keep himself alive as long as he possibly can, but this should be all she wrote, at least for the first life of FPX. Indeed, OUG. Oh, that was two bane breaths stacked on top of each other. Oh my god. Surf through the moonbane. <laughs> Fortunately, able to come out of it alive and take three eliminations and start their journey to the MVP of our seventh game of the day. WBG, though, on six kills. GG on six as well. GG has the opportunity to deny MVP from the remaining, from the from the other teams, though. So that mm. that is rather crazy. If that does happen, this will be the longest... The longest cast we've ever done, Moxie. <laughs> I know, right? The longest oh, wouldn't, series wouldn't have anyone of else beside ever. me, Mr. Dunk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the long haul. The uh, long so haul. WBG are in for trying to create spacing with a Yoda ultimate. Actually, Ooh. comes on through, trying to just cut through the Karumi healing. But everyone is able to stay stable. Go for the Ooh. jump over the horizontal on the pole sword. <laughs> and there's your rule. Dunk, never jump with a pulse on play. Never jump. Never jump. It's just a mix-up, and you will get cooked if you get hit by the LMB. It is It is not fun. But here we are, <laughs> KLA, looking to close out this fight onto WBG, but they're not making it easy. Baige, though, he's taken down extremely low by this purple pulse sword, forced to come out of ult, and now managed to find himself a white armor swap, but doesn't look to go and help Sleepwalker after the armor swap, decides to heal instead, and he uh -oh. may... Yeah, it's over. It's all she wrote, unfortunately, for WBG for the moment. They do have six kills, so they mm. have the opportunity, and they still have time before the Realm of Yang pops up, so they do have time to recover and potentially continue the snowball in this game, but we're going to have to wait and see if they find this recovery. We're heading on over to the eastern side. Kakaishi versus... Wait, Kakaishi XCG versus DRG. There was a little bit of a... A little bit of footsies, a little bit of a scrap in the northeast of the map, but it doesn't look as though they're going to commit XCG. They're, I think as soon as they got to that match point threshold, they've slowed down. 
mm-hmm. and they've lost confidence, unfortunately. They got to that point. They got two MVPs back to back. And now they're, they're just, they're, it seems as though they've lost their bite, unfortunately. But we're going to have I feel I mean, like they're, they're most confident on Sand Cypher is, is the problem for them. And yeah. To be able to get to the point where they had match point, they had to burn a lot of Sand Siphon points. Yeah. That is true. But, uh, hey, I'm not too sure how this is going to turn out. It's it's so, it's it's literally anyone's game at this point, yeah, really. KLA and WBG, KLA on three, WBG on six, like both of them are, are actually within distance if we do go to game yeah. eight of being able to make it into Even the Wolves. Even, Even Wolves. wolves. The, the problem is that OUG is currently on three. So yeah. this team needs to be found immediately to stop them from being able to, to scale. It is the Z yeah. King variant of the Sand Siphon. So if they do get contested inside someone like a Realm of Yang with Cannonball, Cannonball is definitely going to be able to potentially just bully through the Sedated Soul. Uh, and WBG, I think, is... But is WBG and XCG are the only two on Cannonball, I think. Yeah, yes, and WBG are. have the Justina variant of it as well. As uh, GG are going to get hit by the Viper V3 coming on out from And CGS, as a result, is going to have to utilize that Decatur ultimate, which and teleport comes on through. And they it actually fails them out though. before they can get the kill onto LXM, who did get hit by the Tessa V1. Took the full three second enchantment stun. As we can have a look and see, XCG and DRG now potentially deciding to take that scrap that they've been playing footsies around about previously kakaichi commits the focus gets parried has to utilize the f and the ultimate xcg yet again dumping in every single ultimate to be able to try and find these kills onto the players of drg yoto uation and ferrier every single one of them pressing v and getting these kills before they can get third party Moonlight, he's he's trying his best, but it is not looking too good for him. His teammates are down in soul form, essentially just waiting to see <laughs> what happens. But I think we all know XCG yeah. are going to be able to pick up these eliminations. Only two. One member did. Oh, no, wait. Does it update? Is it about to update? No, it was only two. Only two. Only two eliminations. One of them did make it out alive, it seems. But, I feel like uh, this is the line now, though, for, for teams with Zip. You, you just, like, ignore the normal Yoto ult into Ferrer ult to cover, and you just throw everything and the kitchen sink at the yeah, Zip just, to just force the ultimate as quickly as possible and burn through it. Because yeah. with the Zip he, uh, nerf heals, like, it's just not enough. I see. To be able to, to keep everyone up. In fact, I wonder if we're going to see a pivot towards the V3 variant of the, the Zip to be able to counter the new line coming through. The V3, we never get to see it, or rather we've seen it like once in the past. It basically does mean that you're forced into playing into the AoE of the zip, but if you stay inside the AoE of the zip, you can't die, is, is how it works. And the zip yeah. can still move when casting it. So it means that if the Cannonball variant decides to throw in three ultimates to try and burn through a zip heal, their three ultimates gone, and uh, the zip is still keeping everyone alive. Yeah, and not only that, but Zip does have the advantage in that she can use her ultimate at not 100%. It doesn't require her to have 100%. So there's more, there's no, there's, there's more potential there in certain situations, but Karumi is more of a, just sort of a keep people alive. As long as you stay next to me, we're going to live kind of thing. Whereas Zipping is more versatile in some regards. But enough of that. We're heading on over into the realm of Yang. JL fighting against Alliance. We have the matchup right here. Zipping yeah, versus Karumi up. variation. FX, he's on the chase. He's trying to chase them down. I think that was a pop. Uh, that pop came out onto oh there it is onto revenge the zipping gets taken down the damage reduction the healing it's just too much oh but lane with a huge rmb into focus slide lmb very nicely done able to take off all of excess F F F F fx's shield but i don't think it's going to be enough it's still yeah, left it back. in a 3v1 situation it is uh, cooked Alliance gets taken down in the I'm, realm of Yang and JL take you, it home. Rumi beats Zip. 
I think it does. And Sun Siphon. Like, you just, you can kill that Z-Ping so quickly, and then even if you manage to get a kill into one of the Kurumi's teammates, the Kurumi's just gonna be able to tether the body and get people up. Even when mm. we were seeing traditional Transformers back when Realms of Yang first started being a thing. And so we can have a look and see the Z-Ping variation. I played out for OUG. Yodo F comes on through, you immediately getting the F connection. Sleepwalker going incredibly low, Baige having to utilize that Uation ultimate as you just swaps over to the repeating crossbow and melts through WBG's Akja who was held in position. Oof, that is not a fun way to go. And off of the back of that, OUG picked themselves up, what, three, four, six kills, as well as a Vermilion Bird Smite Legendary Hang Sword and uh, a lovely Barrier of Aggression that they can utilize to try and push now onto players left behind in Celestra. And it looks like they turn onto JL, another team who's more than happy to take a fight because they also have the million birds point, so they can fully commit. Indeed. Are they going to be able to find this opening, though? The Tamalk ults have been committed. VVV popping that Kurumi circle underneath him and his teammates, but FX, he's not able to stay grounded, just getting absolutely juggled, and OUG are going to pick up yet another couple of eliminations. Oh, this is just... OUG? OUG going crazy? Nine kills? I mean, they've got the setup too. The, the reason why the Zip versus the Kurumi in that matchup works in the favor of OUG is because one of them has Merciless Havoc, and just joggles the Takeda away from the Kurumi ultimate. Yeah, exactly. And he, that he that is gets... the kind of situation the zipping wins. See, yeah, we just Zip is, is able to just play with mobility. So even if you yeah. get pressure to, to maneuvering away, the zip heal is still going to be able to keep everyone alive, especially if sedated soul. And so that yeah. not popped. Kurumi did get buffed. Like she used to be incredibly static in terms of her ultimate. You only used to be able to cast it, and it would just stay where you cast it originally then they released zip and kurumi started falling out of place as a support so they buffed it to having one recast where you can through the alt duration change the position of it but unfortunately with something like merciless havoc which is just so good at taking you from one position and dumping you into another entirely different area the kurumi is just not enough unless you have the tether which reaches 30 meters distance but in that instance yeah. the tether was not up yeah, no, he used it on the entry and then just it, it just timed out and they weren't able to get enough value out of it and keep him alive. But it, it wasn't the end of the world, you know? It wasn't the end of the world. They still had their reses available. OUG, it seems as though the king has... Uh, did he die deliberately? I think yeah, he, he may he, have he died, died deliberately. Damage. He died deliberately, I think, as a scout, to act as a scout for OUG to try and find more players or not. I don't, I'm not really sure then why he died. Oh, but let's let's have a look. Yeah, the king is is out scoping. I think it was box that scoped. I'm not sure. Regardless, they are all up and running yet again, and it looks as though they're going to be rotating around this realm of Yang. There's a realm of Yang down in the south with five teams all within reasonably close proximity. But it doesn't look as though FPX is uh, is about that life. I think they're getting. Uh, they're going up north. I think they might be looking to go for this Morris Blessing as opposed to a Realm of Yang. XCG, however, they are definitely looking for this Realm of Yang, waiting very close by to it. OUG, I think they're probably going to head on over as well. They're just doing a quick bit of I would shopping. kind of want to see them play safe. They're on eight kills. If, they, if they show up to a Realm of Yang and they find themselves under either Yang depletion or coming under pressure from all of the other teams in the area, they potentially go out. And remember, like, they need MVP. They need a full win to be able to walk away the winner. If they do not get MVP here, another what, two, three teams potentially go through. Look at how many so teams we'll are down here in the south. Whether or not they decide to just use this area to, to scope out and put pressure onto teams around them, whether or not they fully commit to the realm of Giant, because they're definitely posturing up like they want to play for it. It's in yeah. between XEG and There's one BB. team in already. One team. I think they're going to wait. Everyone's see if they just waiting. Wait it out. It's first yeah. round of Yang, and it is uneven numbers as well. It is odd. So if you can be the last team in, and you can pick, oh, it's the second it's, it's round second, of Yang. Yeah, because they had yeah. a million birds might to be able to to scout. This yeah. this match has gone so quickly. <laughs> it really has. It really has. Is going to get popped. I believe that was by XCG. 
OUG have not gone for the entrance. There's not much time. E, and neither have XCG, and that realm of Yang is about to... Ooh, Alliance out. versus JL. As JL and Alliance go head-to-head. -head. JL with the roomy variant of Sand Siphon. What are Alliance running? They are running the Zipping variant. Zipping variant oh. versus Karumi variant yet again. But it looks as though Revenge took a huge amount of damage on the entry there, and he's out of position. He's just getting mobbed by the members of JL. It looks as though they might be able oh, to Oh, he gets stuck in the Tumultuous! Here. No! Revenge, what are you doing? I think Revenge just straight up griefed it, I'm not gonna lie. He just ran in, got all of his armor shredded, his yeah. team weren't in a position to help him, and he just gets stuck in a 2v1 situation and he can't really do anything. What yeah, am I watching? The Rumi variant wins against the Zip in Realm of Yang, for sure. Because, like, Sand Siphon with Rumi, you can just tether onto someone and teleport faster. In that instance, Why am I the, seeing the Zip... Multiple people do Armbri uppercut, Moxie. Why? <laughs> Why am I seeing this? Time and time again. This is not okay. <laughs> I, I know. I they must know. be doing it for a reason, though, at this point. Like, surely they must be doing it for a reason. Where's OUG? Is what I'm looking at. Because something else that isn't okay for these other teams is the fact that OUG is still in this lobby. They need to knock this team out and quickly. And I feel like OUG is just playing safety right now, especially because XEG, the only other team, may be close to be able to catching them. And this has just close. lost Xiao Nan, Naish Q, and Kakaishi, the only two players left. Kakaishi finally going to be able to throw in his ultimate, but no! The He's Tessa V1. And the, the Draco Storm is just so much. It looks as though this res is going to go completely uncontested. Yeah, he was able Wolves to zone with, with the Yota ultimate to yeah. be able to, to put the pressure back How on. How are they alive? I'm, I'm kind of confused. Oh, well, I don't know. Bye, Xiao Nan. Immediately goes down again. <laughs> <laughs> Wolves not going to let him get up and then... Uh, they just wanted to let him off so that they can yeah, get the I kills. Yeah, I mean, the good news you know? is you can only pick up a total of two points per player. Mm. Which is, is quite nice. You, yeah, you, you can't, like, just basically prey on the same person getting rezzed. Uh, yeah, no. By the team over and over and over again. That would be pretty stupid. feeling, okay. that would now be Now we get to see what OUG is. They're just, they're just playing for survival. Yeah, I, I love as well the fact Still. that you is, like, just sitting inside, not a purple bush, but the long grass, because everyone checks the bush. Everyone checks the bush, and everyone checks it either with just immediate straight damage or just the, the thing grapple is, to see whether or not it turns right. Do you know what's kind of funny? Is that if you turn modeling accuracy down to the lowest possible setting, that grass oh, doesn't no. exist. <laughs> so, uh... So he's just yeah. sitting out in the open. I think he's just sitting in the open. I'm pretty sure that, uh... <laughs> I don't know, do these oh, players, well. like, play on the lowest possible settings? Yes. I mean, yes. yeah, pro, pro gamers, of course, they do. We all pro prioritize frame rate. Yeah, exactly. But uh, regardless, we're heading on over to a fight between GG and Alliance. GG need this fight. They need this dub to continue to snowball in this game. Because if they secure the MVP, they've already gotten to the match point threshold. If they yeah, well, secure the MVP... 10. Yeah, if they get into next game, they could push it to the next game, essentially. If they push it to the next game, then we're going to eight games, baby. We're going to eight games, and it's, CJS is it's gonna going to get spicy. There. CJS just but, went down uh, alongside Free Free O because they get sandwiched between KLA and Alliance. Yeah. And uh, Sedated Soul got popped by one team, and then immediately the player got popped by the other. This is great news for OUG. Because GG were one yeah. of the teams in contention for MVP, but Alliance now are also in contention for MVP. They're all it's gonna griefing each other. It's going to come down to whether or not KLA are going to be able to find the kill. And after that parry, Alliance, I do believe, in this fight is coming out on top. And they Alliance, all griefed each other. It's I, I know they all griefed each other. KLA 17 us maybe is going to get them. Oh yeah, but it's immediately into his and corruption takes damage. Alliance fighting inside the zone, however, are going to deplete their resources like crazy. They cannot afford trades. The but the thing is, though, they needed to do it. They needed to do it before because they yanked a depletion. Oh my god, Lord Moe coming through from Bo. <laughs> oh, do they go down to the corruption tick? No, Dunk. I think they're going to go solo to the corruption tick that they get third party by BVE and they just instantly. No. Use oh no, what's happening? So Everyone's you know just screaming at each like other. Yeah, I was going to say, you know how this ruling was brought into motion to stop teams from just ratting and coasting off of points that they picked up earlier in the day? That's true. Ironically enough, OUG might get MVP for doing just that in final game. Literally, literally. Every literally. other team is just griefing each other right now.
Alliance BBE's are about to just lose on the low. BBE hunting him down. He gets hit by the Viper F3 and just instantly disintegrates. Alliance are on 14 kills. And I believe they've only got one player left. Yep, one player left alive. If he survives and gets first place somehow, and OUG doesn't manage to get more kills, it's actually, it's it's doable that, that we'll end up going to game A, but... But JL's also got three players alive. That uh... was match point, and they also have seven kills. True. Because JL OUG, did exactly though. what OUG did, which was pick up kills early on, and then hide. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, the res comes through. Wait, Wait this is Alliance? A no, OUG got the kill onto one of the Alliance players, and they know that oh, the guy no. who just rezzed him has got to be in the area too. Oh no. <laughs> Alliance just fed another kill into the waiting arms of OUG, who put themselves on to 10. And E and I just has to put to the, the very there. top of Sunwings. This is the this is this is one of the one of the better spots, chat, if you want to try and hide. From people sitting at the very top, the highest bone in Sunwing, it's 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 kind of a pain to get up there. Some teams yeah. might not even bother trying to get you down from. <laughs> it's either the highest bone or the one on the low ground, which has that little opening in the middle of it. But that one's a little bit riskier because it is on the low ground. It's easier to get to, and a lot of times the teams that have to try and just get a heal off or take cover from the poison mushrooms will take mm. a little bit of R and R inside that. Yeah. And can potentially just a happenstance on to you. As a XUG are also down to just one player, and Porkakaichi has been happened on to by OUG, who's sensing blood in the water, and a player alone are going to immediately try and hunt this Yoto down. They got another kill. Also, OUG. how fitting is it that our final zone is Sunwing? <laughs> Wait, it's, how it's the so? first time today that, that we are. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. As, it as is actually, that's zone. true. And so Wait, often in NPL, going? we get to talk about zoning and positioning on. I think he's just going out to, to corruption tick damage. He doesn't want to give another kill away. Or maybe he's trying to get the heal. Nah, no, he's, he's going just deeper. trying. To, he's, he's trying to survive as long as possible so that the. Um... The uh, the assist or the, the kill doesn't oh, go yeah, to a certain player. Out. Yeah, so OUG don't get another kill. See? Heads up gaming! <laughs> True. XCG True. are like, we know some of these teams are, are way too close to that MVP. We can't afford to let them get kills. XCG are one of those teams who think like that. Some of these other teams who were just thinking, we need to murder goggles onto the team in front of us, might have just handed OUG the MVP on a platter. Yeah, look at JL though. All three members have a gold weapon, gold pole sword, gold hang sword, and then uh, wait, what is that? I can't tell. What does TXJ have? Is that a gold spear? Yes. It could be. The camera just panned away. Yeah, it just panned away. <laughs> <laughs> and then you Unfortunate. And we're heading on oh, over to OUG though. I couldn't tell. It's fine. But OUG, I think, are probably the favorite so far. Because mm -hmm. they're in contention, they can definitely do this. They have pretty solid loot. They're holding, they're holding low ground here, and they actually have a pretty decent avenue to get into the zone as well. They can loop around the right these, these this terrain here, these rocks. If no other team is here, yeah, JL was here, but it looks as though they're immediately disengaging. They're going to try and push further in and get their backs to the zone. So one thing that you see some teams doing is try and make it so that their back is to the is to the storm so that they only have to look forwards essentially being flanked by multiple teams is the death of teams in in trios it, at times so because if yeah. you have things like flamers and Takeda all turned against you and your yeah. back is to the zone then essentially yeah. you've played yourself into just eating so yeah. much corruption tick damage and you can get pushed in and it's hard well. exactly so. exactly but, uh, oh, FPX with two gold armors here, but they yeah, have but zero, zero kills. kills. <laughs> mm. Like, they've been That's, quiet, they, uh... they've scaled on up. They are a team that normally tends to pop off in, uh, in the late game and the final zone. Unfortunately for them, by playing for the late zone, they've been out-tempered by everyone else in this lobby. Yeah. Because there's 16 well... players left, but unfortunately for them, three of them are FPX players. Yeah. So they would have to kill, like, 13 players. They would have to get every single kill 
And yeah. last play, uh, last team standing, if they wanted to be able to, to walk away with an MVP. But OUG, definitely in the running, definitely the favorite. Shale, also in the running to potentially be able to take the MVP and take us, uh, or rather stop us from going to, to yeah. game number eight, considering both Shale and OUG are on match point. Question, the question is, is can has the Alliance been alliance spotted, spotted out? And can Wolves... Well, I, thank you, Prod. <laughs> Every thank question you. I've had, literally <laughs> every single time I ask for a player's perspective, I always get to see it. As uh, poor Alex Sam did have to use the combo breaker on the app a little bit early. He is just playing to be as small and inconspicuous as possible right now. Positioning-wise, I feel like OUG is in a pretty good position, though. They have these trees to their left, and they can shoot down to FPX on their right. They have the high ground advantage, they have this cannon, and I'm guessing that's Rupture Gale fl Flame Breath on that cannon. Just, 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 uh, just a guess. And Merciless know. Havoc, too. And Merciless Havoc, so they can control this low ground very well. But look at that play, though. Wolves ZK just grappled over the top of them, went into the zone, popped the three band zone, and then grappled back over the top of no, them. What on that. earth? Lane's been found by Bowder. Lane, he needs to live if he wants to take it to game eight. Ooh, Jing getting the suplex onto ZK, but it doesn't look as though it's going to matter. He kind of pulled the trigger a little bit too early there, it seems, and pops that ultimate, but perhaps they could find some value. It's going to be a struggle, though. Lots of trees here. Jing, there it is, the value that he was searching for, but unfortunately, it's immediately negated by the Wu Chen port, and Wu Chen port isn't really that big of a cooldown to force out at this point in the game. So, rather unfortunate for Bowder. And considering they're only on one kill, that was a very valuable cooldown they needed to hold on to. And it looks as though they're immediately getting punished for doing exactly that. Oh, wait, that was That's OUG U taking the kill down on XEM, mm -hmm. but Wolves taking down Jing. I think, it, I think it's cooked. I think, I think it's, it's cooked. I think OUG yeah, is going to come out on top OUG here. Lane is still alive, but he's just not going to be able to get any kills at this. Yeah, rate. he's going to get zero kills if OUG continues on their current path. They're going to they're going to get some more kills. They're very healthy. They've got they're crazy in too good a position. They're, they're, they're forcing these other teams. Position. Yeah, to look at where Lane against. is. Uh, yeah, Lane look just has to go into is. the no world zone at the moment. But you with this cannon, and another is kill. Oh, much work. The merciless havoc is going to be cancelled out with the Tesla V1, but the cannon. Are still applying all of this pressure. Lane is forced to go into the corruption. Oh no, they He's found him! Yeah, immediately shown all of the attention with that small shell ultimate. Oh, Eugene, I'm going into the air. You still putting this pressure out with the cannon. Whole sword as well to be able to come in with those connections. FPX do pick up one onto Bowder, but this is their first Ooh. in the lobby. OUG need to go out now, otherwise, it's going to be an insurmountable mountain for these teams to be able to make up the distance in terms of overall points for MVP. Oh, you oh, can get the kill onto Bowder's Jing. And with every single player that falls, OUG's victory is that much more cemented. The Tumult Ultimate comes But Lane's play. still going. He's Billy still Lane, alive. Like you said, still alive, but not getting the kills done. He's not finding the value. It's immediately going to be FX and Xiao who kept out of the safety with that Takeda ultimate. Oh no, you. and they grazed it! You get taken down! No, he tried to go for the kill. He greeted it and he goes down. The problem is OG still have two other players and they're sitting on 13 kills. FTX with the Karumi tab are trying to pick up Lame. that dead Takeda. Lane, if he can come in with a kill, maybe he can be the hero. Alliance are on 15. SS just trying to put himself aerial onto the trees to not get chunked down by all of the players on the low ground. The Karumi tab from JL stretching so incredibly high as oh, no, he's been spotted. the high ground and the low, but Lane's been spotted. He's He's getting griefed by FBX. He has to put himself onto a tree and corruption tick damage. He tries to go for the grapple onto the one tree remaining, but collides with OUG. The king is going to be away from the corruption tick. He just looted a single alive. grapple. Lane is still no! in this game. He's going to be able to outlive the king. He outlives one, but he doesn't be the last person standing. It's Bowser versus FBX. OUG, do they, they pick up the kills? MVP? Yes, they do. 
we don't go to game eight, don't we stop here? Oh my god, that was insane! Look at the happiness on their faces, they are overjoyed! Let's Dude, go! Do 